Hey guys, hope everybody's having a fantastic day today. Whether you're watching this in the morning, in the afternoon, or in the evening, I'm glad you're here. And if you get the chance and you're so inclined, please hit that subscribe button right below the video and the bell notification icon. It lets you know when I release new videos, lets YouTube know that you're actually a human who's interested in the content, and allegedly it helps the video get published out to more people. I don't know if I believe that, but it's worth a try, and I'd appreciate if you guys would hit that subscribe button. But today we're going to talk about the second diversion into my, um, what should we say, slip joint. Uh, it's not a rabbit hole, we'll just call it a rabbit divot. But this is the QSP Hedgehog. It is a modern slip joint from QSP Knives. Um, we went through and you guys saw the Ohio River Jack that's made by QSP. I like this little knife and what really attracted it to me were A, some of the reviews, uh, B, the fact that it's got this deep hollow grind. I apologize for the smuts on the blade, guys. I've learned that about finger jo or slip joints, that they get more smutsy. But you can see here, it's not a locking knife, but it's also not a knife that's going to go flicking forward if I don't pay attention to it. When it does flick forward, it comes to this half stop right there. And you can see that it's really stiff getting to the half stop and then closing. So you've got the pull, which I would rate this pull, you know, I don't know how people figure the scale from, you know, 1 to 10 or whatever. But I can tell you this pulls a little bit lighter than the Ohio River Jack, but it's actually very, very stable. Let's see if you can hear it close here. Close. Half stop. Open. Half stop. Close. So I don't know if you guys heard that or not, probably not, but what I was trying to do is let you hear the difference going from closed to half stop, from half stop to open, from open to half stop, and from half stop to closed. But what I found out about when I jumped into the slip joint rabbit hole and picked up the Ohio River Jack, which I have in my left pocket today, was that these little knives are unlike my original assessment pretty fidgety they're pretty tactile i do use it quite often um let me grab a piece of paper here to see if it cuts since i'm always asked but does it cut This little hollow grind cuts very, very well. And I've really just been more than impressed with the way these little knives operate as tools or as um, convenience tools is what I look at. I mean, for opening packages, for cutting paracord, for cutting cardboard, you name it. I mean, these little knives are up to the task. It's a, in my hand, you can see it's a good, medium size knife fits my hand all four fingers perfectly the way i'd want to hold it it's just like this there is no choil there is no choke up it does have this sharpening choil that's done pretty well so you do have several sharpens on that before you're going to catch a smile um, i love specifically and this is just subjective but i love this tip you know, when we looked at the sheep's foot on the um, Ohio River Jack, it had that nice sheep's foot point, uh, point, but it didn't have that little, what I consider that little piercing point. That's a great point for getting into packages, for getting into the side of cardboard, for cutting into things. It just makes it very, very nice and very easy. And then with one hand, you can absolutely actuate this knife, open it, close it, as long as you keep your fingers out of the way. It's one that that half stops more than ample to let you get in there and manipulate it. But let's do a couple of quick size comparisons, guys, to see how this slip joint matches up to the knives that we usually compare knives to, so you guys will get an idea of what we're talking about. So let's take a look at it next to, oh, and I didn't tell you guys earlier, and I apologize, 
This knife, the QSP Hedgehog, is available from traditional pocket knives and from other retailers. Traditional pocket knives gives you the option of their titanium exclusive model that is, I want to say, $145, where the whole body and bolster um, pattern is done in a frag titanium. Really nice knife. They also do it in this gold carbon fiber, a red carbon fiber, a green micarta, and if I'm not mistaken, a kind of red micarta. And then the blade is done in 14C28N. If you go to the traditional pocket knives uh, exclusive with the pad with the um, titanium handle, it comes in M390 then. So kind of like the Ohio River Jag. But this is in 14C28N and carbon fiber, and I think it's just done really, really well. The fit and finish, steel liners, centers up perfectly, the grinds look even. The only branding you see on this knife is the small QSP and then your blade steel up on the other corner. So let's get back to our size comparisons and look at it next to the cold steel 4MAX. And this is a VV Baby Banter. It is smaller than the 4 Max and bigger than the Baby Banter. So when I look at that knife, not knowing any better, because I do get size uh, Alzheimer's, but I have a feeling that's going to be close to our Benchmade Bug Out, when in fact it is a good bit smaller than the Benchmade Bug Out. Which you know what that means, it's going to be much smaller than our Paramilitary 2, but we'll throw it up there just to see how much smaller, considerably. So if I pull that back, I'm going to say it is a half inch smaller than the Benchmade Bug Out in 20CV, the Blade HQ edition. But let's grab our Ben Peterson NAFCO ruler and let's lay it up here on the blade. And we have, I'm going to call that 2.9 inch blade. I'm going to call it a three and three quarter inch handle. Two and three quarter inch from the tip of the bolster. And then you've got a right under two and three quarter cutting edge. The overall knife is that much bigger than my ruler, about a half inch. So I'm going to call it about six and a half inches. And then, let's see here, let me zero this out, all right. Use Grateful Panics calipers, come in here, and it's right at a half inch, 0.51, blade stock at the spine, 0.11, I won't get down below the edge, behind the edge, but I can tell you that it's very, 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 very thin behind the edge. 0.0175, that's pretty close to the edge. But anyway, it's a sharp, slicey knife. It's got a lot of bite. It's got a deep, deep hollow grind. I've really, guys, um, eaten my words in a lot of ways but at the same time one of the reasons that I was so anti-slip joint is I have my hands full with tr traditional knives traditional pocket knives or excuse me modern pocket knives if you want to call them that locking pocket knives and I had a feeling that I would like these knives as kind of a not a novelty but just a different knife to get my task done kind of like what happened with the fixed blades um, I do feel like I crossed a milestone by resisting temptation when I was looking. One of the patterns of the Jack Wolf knives that's my absolute favorite is the low drag jack. And I came across two retailers who I won't know in case I, I won't name in case I get weak again who had them in stock in Black Micarta. And I had it in my cart and I almost bought a $300 switchblade, but I did not. I thought, John, you don't need another switchblade right now. You certainly don't need a $300 switchblade. You know, I bought this knife and the Ohio Jack, I think in a 72 hour period. And when I looked at the um, 
Jack Wolf, Low Drag Jack, that was like the next day. So that would have just been my addiction taking over. So hope I don't miss out on it or hope that this QSP um, Hedgehog and my Ohio River Jack Sheep's Foot kind of quench my, uh, my slip joint appetite for now. And I can get back into knives. I've got a couple inbound that I think you guys are going to like. Um, I've got one coming in that, that I did something really dumb and jumped on. But it is a one-of-a-kind knife. And I look forward to sharing that with you guys. I would appreciate if you haven't already. If you get the time. If you're so inclined. If you like the content. If you like Pocket Knife EDC content. Please hit the subscribe button. What it'll do is it'll update you, let you know when I have new content that releases. News flash, my videos usually come out at 6 a.m. Central Time in the mornings, but then I do release special videos during the week, during the day. If something comes in and it's an unboxing that I want to get out there, it's just it's good to be subscribed. And what I ask everyone, and it's very important to me, is if you look out to the guy or gal to your left, look out to the guy or gal to your right, look out for each other, Go forward with a little love in your heart. Choose debate over hate. I love you all. Peace.